Fifty second floor. Dang dang. One. Who are you? Just someone passing by. I'm kind of a on a mission for my master. So I'm gonna have to take him with me. What? Do you mind? You've gotta be kidding me. Say who says who? That boy is a homeless dog that belongs to our company. I kind of figured you just wouldn't hand him over. Get back for a sec. Ah! <laughs> They're gone? Hey, intern! Mr. Level 4 Supervisor! What happened? Did you catch him? Uh, well, I almost had him, but someone got in the way and I lost him. What? You lost him? Are you insane? Ah. Uh... Get him right now. If you don't bring him back, you're fired. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Damn it. Lord Kanzon told me to bring that kid back. If you let him go, I'm just as screwed as you are. So you better find him. Or kill him. Level 4 Supervisor. Bong So. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. I just started working here. Why did this have to happen now? God, I just want to get some sleep. Still... A job's a job. I doubt you'll find us here. <laughs> Phew. Thanks for saving me and all, but who are you? You're doing this because you know I'm Dang Dang's friend, don't you? You're just using me to get to Dang Dang. Oh, so you already know them. I knew it. I'll never trust a word you people say. Dending and I have a right to be free. Leave us alone. I mean, I don't mind you guys being free or whatever, but if you get caught here, you won't be free anyway. You've got people after you all over the place. Think you can get out of here on your own? Come with me, Louie. Unlike them, at least I don't mean to hurt you. I need Dendeng to get Yama's help. If you help me, I'll help you set your... I'll help... I'll... <laughs> I'll help set you guys free, too. Hmm. By the way, how do we get down to the next floor from here? I'm new here. It sucks not having Warrior around. I'm not sure I can trust you, but for a whole other reason. <laughs> what the hell? It's a woofer, boys. We got a woofer, man. It's actually just a dog. Jesus Christ. Bill Yama. I assume they're connected to Yama. Also, uh, hello. Uh, we're here for some more Tarot God reading. If you stuck this far without me introducing anything, leave a like, comment, subscribe. That'd be really cool. It really helps me out. You can always change your mind later. That was really awkward, but hey, anyway. Uh, let's carry on reading. Chapter 2. Uh, we'll see how far we go uh, this session. It's one of the combat dogs. Should we run? What do you think? They'll be all over us in no time. We don't stand a chance. We gotta get out of here. Alright. Ah, oh, look at mom with the fucking wings. I'm gonna start commenting on shit now. That was strange. I just kind of read. <laughs> if you prefer that style, let me know. And I'll keep it up like that where I just read it and then comment on stuff. After each chapter or whatever. We're flying too fast. He doesn't even look phased by those combat docks. Who the hell is this guy? Bob. Hockney? Wait. You're working with someone? I didn't come here alone, obviously. We're in some serious trouble here, Hockney. It sounds like you found that kid. There's a cliff up coming up ahead. Get ready to jump. Okay. Got it. Hey, what are you doing? W wait a minute! Ah! I'm not doing screams properly. That would be an actual pain. Level 4 Supervisor. The combat dogs found the intruder, but... He fell off a cliff. They're... I think... They're... Probably both dead. What? Where'd they fall? In... Sector 4B, sir. There's a 3 kilometer drop. <laughs> that bastard is definitely dead then. Are you sure about that, sir? Huh? I get the feeling that... They made it look like they fell so they could escape through a drain pipe at the bottom of the cliff. You think a C rank regular could survive a three kilometer fall? Who do you think this guy is? One of Jihad's princesses or something? I I know how it sounds, but 
he didn't look that stupid. Shut up. What the hell would a goddamn intern like you know? Just find the kid's body. But, but, don't you dare talk back to me. Do you want to get yourself fired? S sorry, sir. I'll look for the body. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a hard friend he could help around here. That old asshole. Wait a minute, Lulu. What if I'm right and I catch him in the drain pipe? I bet they'd hire me on the spot. Sweet jackpot! It's not over yet. Ah! I'm not doing the second scream. You can fucking. You couldn't pay me enough to actually, like, go hard with a uh, fucking voicing lines. Where are we? I think this place leads to the drain pipes. Are you that bomb? See that pipe in the middle? Yeah? That's a drain pipe that leads to the exit. We'll be there soon, too. So come down through that through the pipe. We'll have a warship waiting for you. L let's go. Uh, you're not some kind of weirdo, are you? No, I promise. No, y you are pretty weird, bomb. Let's be real. You are very strange. Wait! Stop right there! Watch out! Uh! Nice! I knew you were still alive. You again? Haha. <laughs> Can you forget about escaping? I already called my supervisor. He'll be here any minute. I can't believe I was right. I'm finally gonna get a stable job. A stable job. A, a job? That's right. No more interning for me. So you want to take away this innocent boy just so you can get a job? Well, yeah. Duh. I had to kill people too to make it this far. And what do you mean innocent? He's a registered homeless dog on this floor. He might. He might hurt someone if he doesn't. If you don't, if we don't keep him at the dog sheller, people like me who've given up on climbing any higher just want a decent job. Who cares if I have to catch some kid? This company may be kind of sketchy, but it's part of a massive foundation. I'll make practically as much money as a member of the Tangray families. It's a no-brainer. Once I get hired full time and get promoted to supervisor, very lofty aspirations to achieve in such a short time. I can tell the, I can let the dogs do all the hard work. Then, once I hire reti hit retirement age, I'll get a sweet pension for the rest of my life as long as I just keep one secret. It's a dream job. This is my last chance. Do you really think I can just let that kid go? Hurry up, I'm handing over. I want a stable life. You sure got it all worked out, huh? Listen, I get how you feel and everything, but I suggest you reconsider working for this company. Getting a job nowadays? It's brutal. Wow. Bomb hitting people with straight facts. Shit, nobody likes a walk in life, huh? This company is involved in a much bigger and shadier organization than you think. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> nice work, intern. They're really alive. Now that's what I now that's what I call thinking outside the box. I love how fluctuating this voice is. Like voice for everyone. I don't know how you managed to survive a fall like that, but I'm impressed. Do you have a floating stone or something in your pocket? I am sure you, you, here, you are hoping to get lucky to escape from here alive. But you can forget about that now. Kill them! What now? Look at all those combat dogs. Yeah, this isn't good. I was hoping to get out of here without hurting anyone. Would you mind stepping back for a sec? Uh huh? Sure. Oh, sure. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We can finally get to see some, like, actual action. Just as I've heard, all those combat dogs under Baylord Yama's command are just fighting puppets. They do anything he says. We're gonna see Bomb after Evan Kell's training. It hurts me to have to kill you guys. Wide range Shinsu control skill. I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible. Oh. What the? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Just raining, like, death. Doesn't even say what its name's called. Does it even have a name? Or is it just a, a area of area control wave skill? I butchered what it's actually called. He just took all of those combat dogs out in a matter of seconds? Wh what the hell just happened? How does he have such a massive Shinsu range? This guy isn't any C rank regular. One of the lessons I've learned from many battles I fought. To get Lord, uh, one of the lessons I've learned from that from the many battles I fought to get Lord Evancal to teach me is that leaders who hide at the back of the battle of the battlefield don't deserve any mercy. 
using your own troops as a shield, standing by and watching them die. How can you be so useless? You have no right to lead anymore. To lead anyone. Get down from there. Or, how about I come up there? That little bastard. Does he realize who he's messing with? Is he really just a C-rank regular? He can't be. Slam. Did you think I'd just run off if you told me to come down here? I admit you've sure got guts. But you have no idea who you're dealing with. I'm the supervisor in charge of this place. I'm not sure some stupid little... Canine type. Partial transformation. Regular! I butchered that. I absolutely butchered that. Ugh! That's a hefty attack. It's done some pretty big damage. Like, all things considered. But Bob just doesn't care. You... It, you bounced it off. You call this place a dog shelter. But... What do you really... But you... What you really do is abduct regulars, train them to be your soldiers, and even kill them. And you're so proud to be this the supervisor of this place. You're not just incompetent. You disgust me. Oh shit. Fuck doesn't need assholes like you anymore. The middle of the 49th floor of the tower. Team Isu. You bastard. Here we go again. What? Really? He says he'll take us to Wu Yan. What? Wu Yan's residence. What if he takes us somewhere else? You're such a baby. My guide senses sense tells me he's not. Just relax. Evan Edra. Edrosh. Is that you, Evan? I heard you about you from Shakum. He told me everything. Is that Wun Yan? Yeah, that's me. Are you Wun Yan? Oh that's a guy? Shit. He sure is tall. Yep, I'm Wun Yan. I know we've never met, but I've heard a lot about you, Evan. I know about your traveling with the most stubborn princess in the tower. Uh, excuse me, sir. We've come to ask you a favor. What? A favor? Please, help us. Help us wake up, wake Kun up. Right. I think we'll do two chapters for this recording. I feel like it. Right, let's get to the start of the chapter. Just checking if nothing new is said. Bookmark. Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Chapter 52. 52? 52nd floor. Dang dang. Two. One hour later. Alright, baby. Alright. Ready to go. It's, co it's fucking uh, hot and some blue boy. Are you sure we should go in there by ourselves? We don't have a choice. Our main goal is this mission. In this mission is to try and threaten him. Everything could get screwed up if having a rock came with us. We'll just have to trust this little fluffy dwarf and head in there. One hour earlier, Wu Yan's residence. What? You lost the power of your flame? Yeah, that's why I'm not sure I can really help you guys right now. H how did you manage to lose your power? Well, if I tell you, you'll probably think I'm nuts. As I'm sure you already know, long ago I rescued someone from the Kun family with my flame. We are technically classmates, but he wasn't that nice to me. But after I saved him, we became friends. Then I realized my flame isn't just meant for blazing through hordes of enemies like other people in the Yan family. It should be used for helping and rescuing people. So I joined Walkike Song and wandered around the tower, using my flame power to help those in need. Then a few decades ago, I arrived here. The conditions around here are so harsh that there aren't any rankers or other people. Only a few tribes of outcasts live here. They used to have, there used to be a hierarchy even among the tribes living here, of course. The tribes that ruled the area was Ku Kung. Tribe, the Ku Kung tribe you saw before. 
They use their tribe name in their language quite a lot, don't they? I assume they're referring- that would be like saying I. You just refer to yourself as your tribe just to say I or something, given everything we've seen before of how they talk. They almost- they look exce- look- <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just had a, a, a spasm of my tongue! I didn't actually, it was just a peculiar excuse. They look almost exactly like humans and have basically the same level of intelligence. So, they ruled over a few smaller tribes around here. The problem is, there were a few tribes they especially hated. One of them was the Dooney tribe. The Kamuks absolutely hated how the Doonies looked, so they were racist. In the end, they slaughtered all except all the Doonies except one, and they treated the last remaining Dooney like a slave. His name was Devi. I felt bad when I saw how they were picking on Devi, so I decided to try helping him. Try to help him. I summoned all my flame power to make a hammer that I gave him as a gift. That made that made Devi very powerful, and I thought that would be the end of it, but it wasn't. Devi went on a rampage and started killing all the kum -kum kukums. I mean, unsurprisingly, if they treated him like shit for his entire life, it's no surprise he wanted at least to exact a little bit of revenge. He killed every kukum in sight, and he wouldn't let them surrender even if they begged. Then he even went and chased away the other tribes for not helping when, helping him when he needed it, and announced that he wanted to live here by himself. The only people alive here are the fluffy dwarves, who were nice to Devi and a few cucumbers. I went to see Devi and asked him to give the hammer back, but he wouldn't listen to me. It was like he was, he was possessed by incredible power. I put all my flame power into that hammer. I don't have any flame left now. Jeez. Sorry, I wish I could help you. I never thought things would turn out like this. That weapon with all my flame power in it is so powerful that I can't even steal it back from him. Hey, can you believe this? Yeah, actually, I can. Sometimes in the Eon family there are people who, can, who create weapons infused with their own power. I know, that's not what I meant. I mean, how can someone at this age, at his age be so naive? Oh. Sometimes rankers live for so long, they end up becoming more like little kids. Well, I guess I should just go beat that guy up. Beat up that guy and bring back your weapon, huh? It, it's not that simple. I put a curse on that weapon that completely destroys it if someone steals it from its previous owner. It'll be ruined if you try to take it away from him, Evan. Why would you put such an annoying curse on it? Are you stupid? Just in case the Kukum stole it from, away from Devi. Excuse me. Does this mean you can't wake Kun up if we bring that weapon back for you? Does this mean you can wake Kun up if we bring that weapon back for you? Well, yeah, but I'm not sure how- Alright! Leave it to us. We'll get that hammer back, no matter what. Are you sure you can get back- get the hammer back? Well, not completely. But I just got an idea. Just now. Yeah. Sir, is this little guy one of those fluffy doors that Devi mentioned? Yeah, that's right. Well, maybe. There's a chance this could work. Because Shisu is relatively cunning. Back to the present. Devi! Devi, are you here? Devi's resonance. Yeah, given ha where the scroll bar is, I'm probably not. Doing two per a, you know, video is probably going to be a bit of a stretch. I might do a big stream where I just do a bean read and like get super far ahead and just upload that. That could be an interesting idea. Maybe we'll do that at some point. Maybe in a couple weeks. I'll probably announce it at some point. Devi! Do you really think he can hear you? Hey! Devi! Get over here! We gotta talk to you about something! Hey, are you nuts? Don't shout at him like that! Just respect! Huh? The observer detected some kind of life form? Huh? Watch out! Jeez! Who the hell are you people? How dare you enter my home? You don't look like you're from around here. I guess you don't have much to lose, huh? Is that Devi? It, it looks like a pig. Wh what? Who are you calling a pig? S -s hey, stop it, Hots! What's wrong with calling a pig a pig? I'm just telling it how it is. I should probably put like a more uh, edge into Hartz's voice. That's exactly why you're getting why he's getting angry, you moron! 
You little bastards. S sorry Mr. P uh, I mean, Lord Devi. Bow. Ha. Huh. Could you be any more dramatic? Shut up. You must be surprised to see us here. But we're not here to hurt you or anything. We're just travelers who got lost and happen to be passing by. The reason we came to see you is to explain our desperate situation and ask you for help, sir. Desperate situation? What do you want from me? Well, the thing is, we need that hammer of yours. My hammer? I knew it! You're here to steal my hammer! It, it's not what you think, Lord Debbie. We're not the ones who need the hammer. It, it's him. That dwarf boy. He needs it. Why would a dwarf need it? Dwarves are pacifists. They don't need my hammer. Actually, when we arrived a few days ago, we saw something absolutely awful happen. That little dwarf's mother and little brother were brutally murdered in front of him. We asked him what happened, and he told us those damn kukums. They teamed up with the evil Wu Yan and slaughtered the dwarfs. The only dwarf left is that little guy. Please, let him borrow that hammer so he can get revenge. <coughs> you must know how it feels, Lord Devi. You lost your own parents and siblings to the Kukums. F fine. Instead of lending the hammer, I'll go and punish the Kukums myself. Lead the way, little dwarf. I, I, I want, I want to avenge my family myself, sir. I need to avenge them. C c calm down. Uh, w well, I, I understand, but. But Lord Devi, please, I need this. Let me borrow your power so I can get revenge. I don't know why the dwarf sounds like that, he just does. That was easier than I thought. Huh, you're right. I didn't think this would work out so well. It's a good thing this little kid acted so well. He has some serious skills. <laughs> but why did you think Debbie would hand up but why do you think Debbie would hand over the the hammer to the dwarf. I'm not sure. It was just kind of a hunch. Debbie wasn't always as strong as the coup comes, right? It might shake him up a bit if he remembered. If we made him remember what it was like back when he was powerless. People who used to be poor or weak always carry a kind of trauma with them. Sometimes they develop a mean streak and end up turning on people who are weaker than them. But once in a while, there are people who help at those in need because of what they went through in the past. I figured Debbie was probably that kind of guy. Although, he might regret his decision now. Wu Yan's residence. We're back! I, I, I could not pick a voice for Shibisu, like, at all. Hey, you guys. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> we got the hammer back. We got your hammer back. Here's your ha here's your hammer, Sir Wu. I could not recreate the voice I did for the slimy dwarf boy. I'm hoping he doesn't speak again. Good job, Tuttle! Wow, thanks. I'm impressed. <laughs> I just got lucky. Yeah, fucking Shibisu's voice is fluctuating so much. Now we can... Now... We can wake up Kuhn with a hammer, right? Uh, yeah. We just have to give us hard a good strong hit with a hammer. Go for it, Lil Yoon. Yes, sir! Lil Yoon. Bung. I imagine it makes like a bung. I could put a sound effect in, but you'll have to deal with the fact that uh, I'm too lazy to do that. The block shatters. Gun hits the floor. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Collision. Oh, whoops. I forgot to tell you. He might have some health issues when he wakes up. Wh what? That's what happened with another member of the Kun family I say before. Thankfully, he just had a little fever and that was all. But this time, he got hit with almost full force of my haver. So it may be even more intense. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I assume the way it works, you're putting the flame into them to like stimulate their body, which will obviously increase their body temperature, which will give them the symptoms of having a cold because your body temperature rises, trying to get out. Well, it's not that your body temperature rises. Well, I'd, I've look, that was a terrible explanation. I know what I mean, and you know what I mean, but I explained it completely wrong. Huh? Why are you really bringing this up now? But all we can do is wake him up. I mean, we'll survive, of course. 
You can't just leave him lying there, right? Uh, uh, my head. C can Blue, Blue Turtle! Where am I? Where's Bomb? A month, a moment later, not a month. Hey, Kun, are you feeling better now? Isu. Are you having a nice rest? I've still got a bit of a fever, but aside from that, I'm fine. That's because of the hammer. Wu Hyun said you might feel a bit different when you wake up. Did you hear what's been going on from Rock? Yeah, more or less. To be honest, it was kind of hard to understand them, but I got the gist of what happened and uh, how I ended up waking up again. Anyway, I can't forgive myself for being asleep while Bomb was going through all that. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. It happens, right? Damn it. Is Bomb training to avenge his master? Yeah, I just heard from him a little while ago. He's sure going through hell. Right now he's on a mission to recruit some guy named Yama. Yama? You mean the Slayer, Baylord Yama? Yeah, after the battle ended, Squadron Commander Kalavan was forced out of the station. Some people say he actually got assigned to guard the place where they're keeping Jin Sung Ha. It's just a rumor and we still don't know, even know where he is. But what matters at the moment is that the office, the office of Ranking Affairs doesn't, didn't register Jin Sung Ha as dead. That means he's alive. I think Karak is planning on launching an attack because he's figured out where Jin Sung Ha is. He's probably going to try to borrow some power from Lord, from the Slayer, Baylord Yama, for the attack. That Yama guy must be way stronger than I thought. Maybe that's why he asked Madarako to bring Baylord Yama to him. And Madarako said he'd find something to lure, to lure Baylord Yama to him. That may just be what Bomb is looking for. Something that could lure Baylord Yama to him? What the heck could it be? Stop touching my head. Why not? We're friends. You saved your life, dude. Don't be so cold. Well, it sounds like it's actually a person, not an item. A rugrat from a super powerful family. What? A rugrat? What's that? I think that's what they call the kid. Kids in Yama's gang. It sounds like some kid like... Sounds like some kid, like a mini Yama, entered the tower as a regular and went missing. Yama's trying hard to find him. The kid became his, became uh, the kid because he really likes him and he's from a powerful family. For what Madaraku told me, I think someone who's climbing the tower with that rug ride is hiding in the place Yama, Yama runs. I don't know the whole story, but Bomb went to look for that kid. So there's a war coming then. If two slayers join forces, imagine how epic this war could be. Yeah, I think so. I'm not even sure how helpful a bunch of regulars like us can be. But Bomb's trying his hardest, so I'm going to do my best to help too. Oh fuck, I got the their lines completely switched. Are you in Tukun? Obviously. You can stop me even if you wanted to. And let's get one thing straight. We're the ones letting you guys join us. I appreciate you waking me up. There we are. I think we need a bit of pompousness to, to Kun's voice. Don't get the wrong idea just because I was out of commission for a bit. <laughs> that arrogant punk. Too bad his personality didn't change a bit. Yeah, we've been waiting for a very, very long time. Oh, we're back at Yama's place. Fuck doesn't need assholes like you anymore. If I had my way, I'd destroy this whole damn shelter. But I need Yama's help, so I'll try to control myself. What the hell is that? An orb? Wait, is that Bomb's fucking orb? Holy shit. It keeps getting bigger. Hey, inside, do something. What? S stop that guy's attack. Do whatever it takes. Uh, I'll make you full time. Wait, no. I'll ask HQ to recommend you a supervisor position. A supervisor? I... I'll, I'll stop him, sir. 
What are you doing? Is your job worth getting yourself killed for? Oh, of course. Besides, I have a feeling you won't kill me anyway. Although, I could be wrong. I worked so hard to make it this far. What's wrong with wanting to get a better job so I can have a decent life? Go ahead. Shoot me if you dare, Mr. Genius. How could you even understand what it feels like to be an ordinary person who has to give up their life for a job? You don't care because you can still climb the tower. You've got all the wealth and fame in the world waiting for you if you become a ranker. <laughs> but losers like me have to grab any job we can. Bomb, we're here. You better get out of there soon. We done with the guards after us. Ah, the Hockney. <sighs> Let's go. Uh, huh? Uh, okay. Ah! Speed. The screaming, more screaming, yet more screaming, and a thud. Good work, Bomb. A Hockney. Who are they? Oh my god, it's fucking Elaine. I have no idea how I'm supposed to voice her. They're the friends I was talking to on the pocket before. He's Hockney, and she's Kaiser. Hmm. You must be that rook rat or whatever. That kid is Deng Deng's friend, right? One that Yam was looking for? I... I knew it. You guys want to hand over... Hand Deng Deng over to your Lord Yama. Didn't you tell him anything on the way, Bam? Well, kind of. We were in a hurry. I bet you're just using me as bait to Lord Deng Deng here. You'll never get away with this. Deng Deng will never go back. Louis. Yama isn't looking for Deng Deng because he wants to hurt him. What? We just want to reunite Deng Deng with his father. And we're helping Yama with that so he'll help us in return. You guys have no idea. What? You don't know what returning to Lord Yama means to us. Going back to Lord Yama means spending the rest of our lives as fighting dogs. That's not the freedom Deng Deng wants. Deng Deng and I were born on Lord Yama's mother's ship cage. Ship. Cage. God. Everyone living on that ship worked for Lord Yama. He calls us dogs. We were born the same year on the same day at the same time. Crazy, right? But we were born to completely different destinies. Dang Dang was the son of the cage's second in command. Gado. And I was just some mutt. The moment I was born, I was designed to be Dang Dang's servant. In the, the cage is a world where power is everything. I was powerless from a different family, so the other dogs looked down on me no matter where I went. If it weren't for the strict laws in the cage, the other dogs would already have devoured me a long time ago. But Deng Deng was the only one who treated me like a friend. He told me, his servant, never to give him special treatment. He was always by my side like a real friend. I didn't even have to wear the dog collar that servants like me usually had to wear. One time I overheard Deng Deng's parents talking. I heard them say Deng Deng cried and asked them not to make me wear a collar. Deng Deng always told me, if we ever climb the tower together, we can be real equals. Friends. And not long after that, like some miracle, that's exactly what happened. We became regulars and started climbing the tower together. We didn't start at exactly the same time, but we ended up traveling around the tower together. There were a lot of close calls, but thanks to Deng Deng being so strong, we managed to make it this far. Deng Deng wanted to be free, so we cut off con all contact with the cage and became homeless dogs. Then, something happened on this floor. We got ambushed by some combat dogs on our journey. Deng Deng and I tried to get away, but there are too many of them. Deng Deng helped me escape and ended up getting caught. They're probably keeping Deng Deng in the regular arena, where, those, where they choose the Rugrats to take to the cage. The regular arena is where they capture homeless dogs like Mir and Deng Deng and make them biggest fight to test our abilities. Regulars who win a lot of battles get recognized as the best fighters and are registered as fighting dogs. Then, they have to spend the rest of their lives as, Yama, as Lord Yama's fighting dogs. I know Deng Deng would never fight his hardest in that arena, even if it meant being a loser there forever. He would never want to live as one of Yama's slaves. That's how badly Deng Deng wants to avoid going back to Lord Yama. He wants freedom. Beep, beep. 
What's going on, Hockney? It's an enemy signal. I think they're coming after us. Jeez, how many are there? Look how many there are. Want me to get rid of, want me to get rid of them? That's okay. You just get back. Let me handle them. I can dodge your attacks with my eyes, since I can see the future. You'd better hurry up and use those eyes of yours before those enemies chase us. Calm down, Kaiser. <laughs> Jeez, this is just as pathetic. It's just a bunch of paper planes. What a letdown. What? Ah, oh, what? Did, how did I voice this guy? Oh, too bad. I was just trying to take you all out in one shot. How did you know it was coming? Duvio Grace. Who's that guy? I thought the Slayer candidate like you would be a little more intimidating. The are just riding around this pathetic warship. Get out here. I'm in the mood for a fight. Come out, you little. Come on, you little shit. Alright. Uh, given that I've been going for a while, and uh, we've ride a whole two episodes in what feels like 40 ish minutes, and made fuck all progress because of it, uh, we'll leave it there. I said earlier in the video that if you like this, leave a like, comment, sub, and if you prefer the reading where I just go through it, not commenting on anything at all, just try and get through it as quick as I can, let me know. I'll keep doing that, and I'll just talk a little bit at the end, and maybe a little bit at the start. But yep. Um, these two chapters, they're alright, I think. Obviously, not much is happening yet. We're not in the. like confines of a major arc. When it comes to like big arcs, what I'll probably do is I'll probably record myself reading the whole arc and then just upload it in multiple parts. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this. It's very early stages, but we'll figure it out as we go. And I hope you guys stick around for the ride as I experience Terror God Season 3. So yeah, um, that's all I've got to say. So with that, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope you're still time for another video. Ta-ta, for now.